Chipping, you've really done a fine job here. I can't understand why promotion has been so slow for you. I've often wondered... Have you heard the news? What news? The new housemaster. Know who it is? Old Chip. Chip? No. I say, that's my house. Bad break for you, old man. Chip, you suppose I could move? Were we looking for a reason? Oh, I'm you? sorry, Chipping. Heartless little beggar. No, it isn't their fault. I suppose I just don't understand them the way you chaps do. Oh, nonsense. Well, uh, here's where I turn off, old man. You'll write me from the lake, eh? Mm? Oh, of course. Are you going to do any mountain climbing? Climbing? Yes, I expect so. I've always wanted to try old Stony. Fine. Well, good luck, and be careful up there. I will. than I thought. Not too many footholds. <coughs> what in the world? Hello? Hello? Is there anything wrong? Where are you? Hello? Uh, wherever you are, don't move. I'm coming. I must be in trouble. I, I hope there's nothing. Oh! Oh, 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 Lord. Oh. Hello down there. Oh, oh, hello. Was it you who called? Yes, was it you? Yes. However did you get down there? The path's up there. I, I know, I'm afraid I slipped. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Are you hurt? Uh, no, not very much. You really should have been more careful. It's very steep here. Yes, I know, but when I heard you call, I... You were coming to me. Why? Oh, well, for a moment, I, I thought... That I was in trouble? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I was calling to my friend down the mountain. Oh. Oh, I see. Well... I... It was very thoughtless of me, and, and very nice of you to come to my rescue, I mean. Uh, was it your ankle you hurt? Oh, no, it's nothing, nothing. Try standing up. No, I, I'm sure I can manage. Oh. I... Oh, no, no, you can't. Here, <sighs> sit down. <sighs> you can never get down the mountain like that. We'll just have to wait until my friend comes. I'm putting you to a great deal of bother. Oh, no, of course you're not. Uh, my name is Catherine Bridges. Uh, how do you do? Mine is Chipping. How do you do, Mr. Chipping? My it's friend really, and I are taking quite, a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I beg your pardon. No, no, you were saying... No, no, please. Uh, what was it, Mr. Chipping? Well, I, I was about to say... It really is quite a wonderful day. Oh, yes. Yes, we've, um, we've had fine weather all the week. Uh, my, my friend and I are on a bicycle tour of the whole Lake District. I've enjoyed every minute of it. A bicycle tour? Yes. Why? Oh, Nothing. Don't you believe in ladies riding bicycles, Mr. Chipping? Oh, it's a very helpful exercise, I imagine. Hello there. Oh, Martha, come down. Uh, that's my friend, Mr. Chipping. What's the matter, Catherine? Oh, Martha, this is Mr. Chipping. Uh, Mr. Chipping, Miss Taylor. How do you do? How do you do? Is he hurt? Yes, Martha. You see, he tried to rescue me and, uh, and he slipped. I see. And now we shall have to rescue him. Well, I imagine the two of us can carry him. Oh, well. Oh, no, really. Come along. I, oh, Take no, his arm there, Catherine. Oh. Already. Uh, now, lean on me, Mr. Chippy. Oh, oh, but I feel so very silly. No, no. <laughs> Lift him, Catherine. Oh. Lift. And she has come to see me every day since the accident. I imagine you are surprised, Bowden that I write so much of her. But she is really a very charming person. Yes, and I must admit, very beautiful, too. But please do not misunderstand me. She is far too charming and far too beautiful for me. What is the matter with you? You must realize we've overstayed our time as a kid. We shall have to take the train back this morning. Now, are you coming with me or aren't you? No, Martha, you... 
You know, I can't leave yet. Oswald, he, he's still not entirely well, and, and well, it, it was my fault in a way, and, well, I can't desert him. Is that all, Catherine? No. Catherine, listen to me. He's a great deal older than you are, he's stuffy and slightly grey, and his opinions date from the 70s. He thinks Bernard Shaw is completely irresponsible, and he told me in confidence he's not at all sure women should have the vote. <laughs> have I said enough? You said everything. Except that he's a thoroughly honest person. That his eyes are deep brown, and that he's very charming when he smiles. Oh, Martha, I've never met anyone like him before. And he's really very lonely, did you know that? He won't be much longer. Martha! Goodbye, my dear. Have a pleasant holiday. I'm off for lunch. Oh, Martha, Martha, wait, wait! <laughs> And they call you Chip. Yes. But never to my face, of course. I'm so glad you are what you are. I was afraid when I first met you that, well, that you were a lawyer or a dentist or a man with a big cotton business in Manchester. But schoolmastering is so different, so important, don't you think? To be influencing those who are to grow up and matter to the world. It's rather silly. I hadn't thought of it like that. But I do my best. That's all anyone can do in any job. Yes, of course. I love you for saying these simple things like that. Catherine, I really must tell you something in all fairness. Yes? I'm not a very good schoolmaster. My degree is quite mediocre. I have a certain amount of difficulty with discipline. And I'm sure I'll never get another promotion. Never get to be head or anything like that. In other words, what I'm trying to say is that I'm completely ineligible to marry a young and ambitious girl. Oh. Can you laugh at those I things? I am laughing. Oh, Catherine, you make me very, very happy. When shall we be married? Before the new term begins? Oh, that would be quite wonderful. Shall we say, in a week? Or tomorrow. Here. Here. In was then? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Well, of course, why not? I, I, I'll see a clergyman tonight. Yes, you better. And, and I'll meet you in the morning at the inn. Oh, Catherine. We, we'll both have a great deal to do today. Oh, yes. Uh, letters and everything. In the morning, then. In the morning. This is an occasion, you know. This last farewell of ours. I feel rather like a new boy beginning his first term with you. Not afraid, mind you, but just for once in a thoroughly respectful mood. Shall I call you sir? <laughs> or, or would Mr. Chip be the right thing? <laughs> yes, I think it would. Until tomorrow, then. Goodbye, Mr. Chip. <laughs> 